So there are a couple of reasons why I made this video, but the main one is I've been recently scouring the internet looking for just a simple video showing how to properly install the specific GPU model. And all I found was reviews, benchmark tests and in-game stats, so I thought I'd make one myself. I'll be going through very basic steps of how to correctly install this RTX 3060 Ti, including power supply recommendations and tricks. So let's get the unboxing out of the way and get back to the important stuff. This is of course the Gaming OC Pro model, uh, which has some slight differences compared to the Founders Edition. The main one being it features dual BIOS, which offers a slight boost in performance. So it's clocked up to 1717MHz compared to the 1665 on the Founders Edition. It also has a slight increase in power limiter, and of course it features the Windforce X3 design with three fan spinners. With regards to power, this card has dual power headers, 1.6 and 1.8 pin, and we will talk about that again during the installation process. And before we start the installation, I just wanted to quickly show you the ports on the card. So you get two display ports and two HDMI 2.1 ports which in my opinion is the best combination. That's why I normally prefer to go for Gigabyte GPUs. Okay, so let's start with the power recommendations and tips. If you don't want to be dealing with extra cables, then I highly recommend a semi or a full modular power supply unit. However, since I am using a non-modular PSU today, the best tip I'm going to give you is to use a single cable and combine a 6 and a 2 pin connectors. There is usually a plastic clip on the back of the connectors that will help you combine them together. Next step is to simply prepare the PCI Express slot by moving the tab to the back and of course by making sure that you take out the PCI Express covers. Your card then just slots into the PCI port. After that you will need to plug in the power cables and do some cable management if you like. Then the final step is to make sure that your card is securely screwed onto the back of your case. You will have to do that part with confidence. 